First, the top news headlines. Santa pays fitting tribute to brave heroes of Manipur by renaming Mount Harriet in Andaman and Nicobar Island as Mount Manipur. Chief Minister N. Birain welcomes Amit Shah's announcement, says it's new historic event for Manipur. Police foil aspiring candidate T.H. Brinda's supporters bike rally public meeting. Brinda confronts police. Hello and a very good evening. You're watching the Mummy TV English News Bulletin. I'm Albina Riamai. During the Anglo-Manipur War of Independence fought in 1891 against the British, Manipur King Maharaj Kula Chandra, along with 22 other freedom fighters, was exiled to Mount Harriet in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Paying tribute to the brave heroes of Manipur, Union Minister of Home Amit Shah has now renamed Mount Harriet as Mount Manipur. The decision to rename the place was taken and announced by the Union Minister yesterday during the laying of foundations of various developmental works at the Subhas Chandra Bose Island in Andaman and Nicobar Island. Speaking on the occasion, Union Minister Amit Shah stated that from the year 1857 to 1891, Manipur had played a vital role in the war of independence against the British. He also maintained that even though the freedom fighters, Yuvraj Tikandrajit and General Thangal were publicly hanged and executed by the British. The strength and will of Manipuris never dwindled. 22 freedom fighters along with Maharaj Kula Chandra were held captive and exiled to Kalapani in Mount Harriet. And today, to pay tribute to those freedom fighters, Mount Harriet is being renamed as Mount Manipur, Union Minister Amit Shah declared. Manipur Sarkar wants to make a good place here. This place is also a good place. देश भर के पर्यटकों को देश भर के युवाओं को देश भर की नई पीढ़ी को किस प्रकार से सीमित संसाधनों के साथ भी लड़ा जा सकता है और लड़ाई ऐसी लड़ना जिसमें हार भीत पर लिखी हुई दिखाई पड़ती थी सुनिश्चित थी Welcoming the announcement made by Union Home Minister Amit Shah, Chief Minister N. B. Rain has stated that renaming Mount Harriet, situated in Andaman and Nicobar Island as Mount Manipur, is a new historic event for Manipur. To show solidarity to the national leaders for such a step, Chief Minister N. B. Rain has appealed to the people to light candles and lamps at various places in the evening today. During the press meet that was held today at the Darbar Hall of Chief Minister Secretariat. The Chief Minister conveyed that preparations are underway for construction of a memorial site at Mount Manipur to pay tribute to the freedom fighters of Manipur. Further, travel and stay concessions from Manipur to Mount Manipur will also be initiated. Chief Minister N. Birain asserted that to honor and pay tribute to the then King of Manipur, Kula Chandra, and 23 other freedom fighters who were exiled on the island at Mount Harriet, Union Minister of Home Amit Shah has renamed it as Mount Manipur. The Chief Minister also appealed to people to refrain from posting false information and distorted history on social media to mislead the people. History have we see Samdu was Hadupa, Yava Porna de Hana already, Irregal Egrava, Togal Egrava Pornatani, Aduna Manipurgi boundaries, Manipurgi area, Mayam Hana Kambiriduni, even nineteen forty nine October, Marie the New York Times, the Fongiba, Madugi record, Madudaida Quina, Manipurgi area, she merged over the square kilometer Kayaway. 18,000 square mile means 46,000 something square kilometer. This is 22. I don't know. This is the same thing. Barak, sorry, I'm going to go to the village. And the Sukumba, Suk Sang, clear way. That's why 
इंडिया की लाइक गैजेट ओपन वो ना क्लियर वो ना ले रही हूँ मैं आपसे सुनाई दा कनागुंबा कनागुंबी खरना हिस्ट्री इसी डिस्ट्रोट और का शरांतुरां फोंग बा सोशल मीडिया दा थाकर पकोकर पा दुगुंबा कम्युनिटी में की इंटरेस्ट शोक पा दुगा स्टेट में की इंटीग्रिटी दा स्टेट में की प्राइड शोक पा दुगुंबा खर Police thwarted a bi planned bike rally and public meeting organized by supporters of Thonao Jambrinda, MPS, who is aspiring to contest the upcoming general election. She announced her candidature for the upcoming election for Manipur Legislative Assembly 2022 from Yai School Assembly constituency. Members of Facebook page TH Brinda for Yai School AC organized a bike rally and mass meeting this morning at 10 a.m. from her residence at Yai School Janmastan. However, a team of Imphal West District Police led by OC and Ingocha stopped the rally from proceeding as they did not possess permit from the DC concern and for defying COVID-19 SOP. A confrontation erupted between the two sides. Later, police dispersed the crowd. Addressing the media over the incident, Brinda said, election is also known as the Festival of Democracy. Condemning the state government for stopping a democratic rally, she accused the government for suppressing the people's democratic rights. I tried correcting the system as an executive. Now everybody has seen it, how I fought for it, challenges that I had to face just to bring the desired change in the larger interest of the people in the state. Now what I have decided is that I want to be... I tried correcting the system as an executive. Now everybody has seen it, how I fought for it, challenges that I had to face just to bring the desired change in the larger interest of the people in the state. Now what I have decided is that I want to become part of the legislature so that because of the political uh, intervention and pressure from above, I could not perform my duties to my optimum uh, capacity. So hence I decided to become a legislature and contest the election. There are multiple offers as of now, but it will be my, my constituency which will decide, help me decide which party I will join. Maramdi, you think that chronically Manipur is rising unemployment rates. Tak boleh insan bermula itu baru. Juga tanah ribu only source of employment si government job sing sing katang ni job government job sing sini. Kau ni SB no. Tak boleh panggil nanti. Tak boleh lagi bani. Besar kan? Tak boleh yon bawa masuk. Kau ni tak boleh lagi bani. Aduna sih kita paham jira fit tau ngai lagi. Tuh lagi yut meh amsi. Aduna yut sing sing kalai rupi sing sing kahan uplift tau bawa mohi kahan import tau bersin. Replying to media persons about her joining politics, she announced her candidature for the upcoming general election. In the hope of changing the government system, she took the executive role but could not complete her tasks due to different political interventions. Hence, she decided to contest in the election to become a legislator, she said. Adding that there has been many offers from major political parties, she informed to discuss it with her supporters on which political parties she will join. Impal is ki SP amasun district commissioner na kanu pirakhi de permission pirakhi de maram di makoi na hire pamaram si Impal is ta BBIP is ki moment lay tar gadi aigi rally amasun meeting sina obstruct tau gani hai on the other hand COVID ki protocol na oye hai hai na hai adu at the same time ngasih ngasih makie ayuk ta 
mening da kasam tung kendra da mas reliya masatli adu gi di permit pi hai permit tu puthoro hai da produce tawya de adu bo ai gi da di ai gi ngon si wang malan ba ya de hai da hai da na magistrate yau na impal waste ki sibai are bang khelui thajal laga ngon si gi wang malan na sapaya handre adu da force ikana na ham ba sijinar e hai ba se manipur police na ham ba sijinar apra Mian ham bah season abra hai besar. Lagi hari bah video footage, mian sini sedih yang biru. Enam mungkin season agri bah force ed. Proportionate oi bra. Besre lisi da oi dabra hai besi mian question tau biru. Aduga di sini permission pi dri besi gimaram atau pakai endro gimai. Ama mana permission pi raga ai gitu na permission pi dri besi gimaram si kai no hai besar. Si sum mian no wahang tau biru. Aduga manipur si kan si hai taragadi ngasih mian na asum bagi marak telai bah insa ya itu mian sian. Nam dah nam bagi marak telai khat biru. BJP's intending candidate for the election of Manipur Legislative Assembly from Kaisamthong Assembly constituency, Sapam Nishikanta, has asserted that Maitais should also reside in the hill areas. He said even though some parts of the hill are in the hill areas. He said this during the inauguration of four offices at polling station number 12 by 23 of Thaudab. He said live in the hill. In Himachal Pradesh, as example, he said the tribal reserve land in Himachal Pradesh is low compared to Manipur, but in Manipur it's different. He said Tanku and Kabui coexist with Maitais. Despite different religions, people live together as brothers, he said. As per population, people different different religions follow the Hiwani, Aduga, Aigi Motadi, Naga have a wise up and big new Naga have posted Sunday before that. Just we are one. Monday medical camp today at the residence of chairman of the trust and former minister Moirang Them Hemanta. Speaking on the occasion, he said this is the fifth medical camp organized by the trust. The camp, which was formerly organized at the campus of Diamond Radio, but it will be held at various places for the convenience of the elderly from today. Around 150 people were provided with medical treatment and given medicines. Hemanta informed that the medical camp will be held at 12 villages of Wangjing Tenta Assembly constituency. Kungang hukang dasar lagi di medikan kia macam cerita apa hukum ni? Nasi kita mengarah ke sini, maka macam cerita apa ni lekai dani? Aduga, tapi macam dah kungang hukang dasar lagi liam nelayan bagi program si pantok ni. Aduga, loh ni loh ni na, koi kara macam data perita memorial health card, nana kara macam isu tau kan ni? Asyik ke pung macam yang anda yang tuh ibu ni masih ke pung sih je, macam lagi tuhuna koi kara macam. BJP Kangabok Mandal under the supervision of BJP Thaubal District yesterday organized an intellectual meet to discuss the ways to ensure that BJP candidates win at the upcoming election for the 12th Manipur State Legislative Assembly. The meet was held at the community hall at Kangabok Mayai Lekai. Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, T.H. Jadumani, Member of Intellectual Cell of State BJP Manipur Pradesh, Sobita Devi Maibam, Vice President of the Mandal, M. Rameshwar, President of BJP Thaubal District, Kumarjit Yumnam, and its Vice President, S.H. Japan, presided over the meeting. Secretaries and Presidents of Good Committee of 47 polling stations of the constituency and workers of the Mandal also attended the meet. Dias members appeal to the people avail the benefits of development projects taken up by the center and the state government and make sure that BJP candidates wins majority in the upcoming general election. State Mission Director for National Health Mission Dr. N. Shyamjai launched the CM Health for All scheme for Thaubal District which was launched by Chief Minister N. Burain in connection with Ajadika Amrit. Door-to-door -door health screening have also commenced in the district. CMO of Thaubal District Dr. Y. Nokul, additional SPM of NHM Manipur Govin Salam, MO of Yairipok CHC Dr. M. Rakesh, Rakesh attended the launch program. Speaking
Speaking on the occasion, Siam Jai said the scheme will provide door-to-door -door medical screening to the people living in faraway villages and outskirt areas. 1,628 villages of 16 districts of the state have been selected for the scheme. Siam Jai said under Hauka and Wangkem Health and Wellness Centers, two villages each of Thobal district were selected. Former Minister Thonao Jamangi extended monetary help to the gold winner at the first Mount Everest International Championship, Amom Kazil Chanu, held at Kathmandu in Nepal. The championship was held on October 10 and 11. Kazil is the daughter of Amom Bimol Chan Mithai and Amom. Robita Leima from Laura Krabi Wangu Ahaluk Makha Sanden Lekai. She will be taking part in the 9th National Traditional Wrestling and Pancreation Championship 2021 at Goa to be held on October 29 to 31. She is among the 49 players selected from Manipur Traditional Wrestling and Pancreation Association. Now we have a short commercial break. Stay tuned for more updates. LX Sublimation. Pauna Bazar Infal, JMG Shopping Complex, Pass Floor. Mafa Masida, Mug Printing, Cover Printing, T shirt, Keychain, Photo Frame, Sublimation Gipot Kuding Mug, Wholesale the Fung Bigani. Items available are Mug Printing, Cover Printing, T shirt, Keychain, Photo Frame. All the mentioned items will be available at wholesale rate in LX Sublimation. Welcome back. India registered 14,146 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours, which was 11.5% lower than what the country had witnessed a day before, informed the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare today. The total COVID case load in India has increased to 3 crore 40 lakh 67,719. A total of 144 deaths were reported during the same time, increasing the total reported death count to 4 lakh 52,124. Meanwhile, a total of 19,780 Eight patients recovered in the last 24 hours. As of this today morning, India's recovery rate stood at 98.1%. India has administered a total of 41,20,772 doses in the last 24 hours, which brings the total tally of doses administered to 97 crore 65 lakh 89,540. Punjab Congress leader Nafzot Singh Sidhu has written to Congress President Sonia Gandhi highlighting governance issues in the state and requesting for a meeting to present a 13-point agenda for the party's campaign for the assembly polls due next year. The letter, which was shared on Twitter today, is dated October 15, a day after Sidhu met Congress leaders Rahul Gandhi and K.C. Benogopal and withdrew his resignation as Punjab Congress President, saying everything has been sorted out. However, he did not put his designation nation as state congress chief in the letter. Air Chief Marshal B. V. R. Chowdhury visited the IAF's lay station and deployments at forward areas in the northern sector on Saturday to take stock of operational readiness of the service units. The Chief of Air Staff also interacted with the personnel station at the air base and units on deployment. In a tweet, the Indian Air Force IAF said on Sunday that Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chowdhury, Chief of Air Staff CAS, visited Air Force Station lay and the IAF deployments at forward areas in the northern sector on October 16. The border standoff between the Indian and Chinese militaries erupted on May 5th last year following a violent clash in the Pangong Lake areas and both sides gradually enhanced their deployment by rushing in tens of thousands of soldiers as well as heavy weaponry. 
As a result of a series of military and diplomatic talks, the two sides completed the disengagement process in the Gogra area in August and in the north and south banks of the Pangong Lake in February. Fifteen people have been killed in Kerala since last night as a result of heavy rains that triggered landslides in the district of Iduki and Kotayam. Nine have been found dead in Kotayam and two in Iduki. At least 13 people have been reported missing, including five children. Chief Minister Pinarayi Bijayan held a high-level meeting to intensify the rescue efforts and said that all means will be used to evacuate people stranded in areas flooded due to heavy rain in the state, including Kotayam. On the state government's request, the Army, Navy and Air Force have stepped in to help the civil administration handle the situation. The National Disaster Response Force has decided to deploy 11 teams. 33 people, including 8 women and 7 children, have been rescued so far. Before we end the bulletin, let's look at the top news headlines once again. Santa pays fitting tribute to brave heroes of Manipur by renaming Mount Harriet in Andaman and Nicobar Island as Mount Manipur. Chief Minister N. Birain welcomes Amit Shah's announcement, says it's a new historic event for Manipur. Police foil aspiring candidate TH Brinda supporters, bike rally, public meeting, Brinda conference, police. With that, it's a wrap for this evening news bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Have a good time.